following is an editorial by WTSU President and General Manager Joel Vilmene. At this moment in our lives, when our knees have been buckled by a global pandemic, and the debate about kneeling for racial justice rages on, we don't have to look very far to draw inspiration from a person who has done so much to cure our nation of viruses, both of health and race. Dr. Norman Francis is a proud Louisianan, born in the year our national anthem was officially adopted. He is a veteran of the U.S. Army, the first black student to enroll at Loyola University, and the first to enroll in its law school. He rose to become the president of our own Xavier University. And under his 47-year reign, Xavier University consistently produced more black students who applied to and then graduated from medical school. More than any other institution in our nation, more than Harvard and Yale, and more than big state schools like Michigan and Florida. Most of Xavier's students are the first in their families to attend college. and The majority come from low-income homes. That's why President George W. Bush honored Dr. Francis with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, our nation's highest civilian honor. At a time when we're examining the value of black lives, and while looking to our medical professionals to save our lives, we should look to Dr. Norman Francis. He long ago understood that the cure we're looking for could come from anywhere. It may even come from a poor, marginalized black kid living on the south side of Chicago or living right here in the Lower Nine. And from one of the greatest educators of our time, a Louisianan, that is the lesson we should all learn about the advantages of racial equality. Today, we're considering whether a street should be named after Dr. Francis. His picture hangs in the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. So should his name on a street sign in our state too. This has been an editorial by WDSU President and General Manager, Joel Vilmene.